When you have these lights in a store, they have little reflecting panels on the back, so it reflects the light straight down onto the object. And they also often have glass lenses in front of them to, to stop people from burning themselves. These will create patterns. And a simple way to do this is to change the light type to an IES light. So you have to move this up a little bit so you can see. But this is an IES light. When lighting manufacturers create their light bulbs, they will often scan them. They put them in a special little box or they send them off to a facility. And it essentially measures how much light there is, what color, how strong, and also importantly for us, what pattern it casts. So if you change the light to an IES light, you need to give it a file. You need to give it an IES file so it knows what shapes and patterns to create. These are called the photometric settings. If you go to your photometric tab, you'll find the only thing you can really do is fill in a file for it to use. Now, I have included one, but I'm going to show you how you can more easily browse them. If you ever want to, to get some of these IES files, there's thousands of them freely available on Google. Just open up a web page, open up a browser and say, look, um, free IES lights. The lighting manufacturers give them away. There you go. First link. Tons of free IES lights. Just, just grab some of these. Um, but the problem is you can't see what the light pattern looks like until you render it. So let me just show you one little tip. If you go to your content browser, this tab on the side here, this is like a little finder window, uh, an explore window, where you can look at files on your hard drive. If I go to my computer's, let's see, hard drive, users, me, desktop. Here is my interiors folder. This is where I've been grabbing the files from whilst we've been going through these tutorials. Uh, and as part of the textures folder, here's all the various images we're using. You can uh, resize the thumbnails down here, by the way. Drag this little slider to the right. So here's some of the textures we'll be using a bit later, or here's some of the textures the file already uses. But if we scroll down, one of these is an IES file. And what Cinema will kindly do for us is show us if this light source was inside a box, what would the lighting pattern look like? And the file I've included is just a sort of generic little uh, spotlight which shines down from above. So if you shine it down in a box, this is the pattern you're going to get. So, in your attributes where it says, okay, what, what file would you like to use? Either click the button to the side and go find the file, or if you've just browsed it in your content browser and you can see it, you can drag and drop that into the box and it'll add it for you. But here's, here's what it's going to look like. And so long as your graphics card is reasonably decent, so long as you haven't got the oldest machine in the universe, uh, you should see this in real time. As I move this light around, you'll see all the patterns, all the different shapes getting cast onto the floor. So this little dark ring here, this little dark nub in there, this is being created by the IES data shining down. And these are going to make our lighting far more interesting, far nicer. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to copy and paste it into my other project. So let's copy that. Go back to the uh, interior scene. And you can either just fill in the setting yourself or, hey, I've already done it. Let's just paste the light source in.